down a little alley in the heart of Kendall Town is a tiny independent yard shop. Welcome to the wonderful world of the kitten and the goat. Hello my lovely people. This is a very quick as it comes garbled video. Um, I've had a lovely time this week. I've been making stitch markers. I have got the clip-on type and the over-the-needle type. So I thought this would be a perfect time just to pop on, explain the difference between the two and show you a few. So these little chaps have got a great big ring on the top. And what these do is they go on the needle between the stitches of your knitting and they mark a place. You can only use them on the needle because if you put them round the stitch you can't get them off. That's the other sort. But you flick them as you knit along. You flick them from needle to needle and they mark the work as you go up. You can mark the center of a work if you're decreasing centrally. It can be different places. If you're working down, doing increases, you carry them along so you can see. It'll say increase a stitch, place marker, increase a stitch. It holds it for you. The other type of marker is the clip on. It's either got the lobster type clasp that opens like that. Some of them I've got have got French ear wire fittings which has got a little levered piece at the back and use these in crochet as well. What these do is actually clip onto the work. You can clip it on where you see in a pattern it will say work so many inches, centimetres straight. You clip it on so you know where you're going to be measuring from or you clip it round a stitch to mark the stitch and it will stay there and you gradually work up and then when you've done you in just pops off it just hooks around to mark a place if you're working in the round either knitting in the round or amigurumi crochet you need to know where the round starts that's what you clip in there I had a lovely time making these it's great fun it goes back to my good old jewelry making days I tell you so I've got lots of these gummy bear shapes in all sorts of colours. There's lots of these um, mermaid fishtail scales, different colours. I've got some that look like chocolates, some that look like biscuits. I've got these pretty open work hearts. I've got some flowers one. Oh, these are beautiful. I've got these gorgeous coloured seashells look aren't they pretty i've got these teardrops uh these aren't heavy they're not big they're, they're hollow pretty little colors on them they're really light jazz up your knitting a bit first christmas stocking fillers how about that i said the word oh dear i'm in trouble i said the word the ones with the lobster clip on are 450 because the clips cost me more the ones with the big rings are 350 they are all listed on the website the pictures that you see on the website that's what you get when i go foraging for supplies i buy what's pretty i can't guarantee to replace them again i don't know that i'll ever get these again i don't know that i'll ever get these i've got three sets of these one over the needle two clip-ons don't know if I'll replace. Look at that, it's so pretty and sparkly. <gasps> anyway, this is a quick rough and ready. That's the difference between different types of stitch markers. They're all on the website if you want to pick them up now. Um, I'll try and remember to put a link in the description, but the website is 
the kitten and the goat. And I'll catch you later when the technique video's out. Bye.